This video is a tutorial for installing Git Bash and the Software Carpentry Installer on a computer running Windows. It is aimed at those planning to attend a Software Carpentry Workshop. This is an example Software Carpentry Workshop page. We'll scroll down to the Setup section for Git Bash, a Windows version of the Linux shell. First, we'll right-click on the installer to open it in a new tab. Next, we'll go to that tab and click the Download button. Here we'll have to wait for it to finish downloading. Once it's finished, we can go ahead and click it here, or we can open an Explorer window and go to our Downloads and open it there. Once it's opened, we can click Next until we get to the Adjusting Your Path Environment page. Here we'll click the option Use Git from the Windows Command Prompt, and then choose Next. The next page we need to look for is the Configuring the Terminal Emulator to Use Git Bash page. Here we'll click the option Use Windows Default Console Window, and then click Next. We'll click Next again, and then the installer should start. This installation step may take a while. We actually sped up the video to make it go a bit faster. Once it's done, you can click Finish. I don't really want to review the release notes, so I'll uncheck that and then click Finish. Now let's stop and check if Git Bash installed. We can close this downloads window and the Git Bash download tab, and I'll just minimize this browser window. Then we can click on the Windows menu button and choose All Apps. Then we can scroll down to the G's and expand the Git options and click the Git Bash option. The fact that it opened is a sign that the install worked, but let's go ahead and also check the git version. So here we'll type git space dash dash version and press enter. It should print something about the version here. And it did, so we know that it installed git properly. Next we're going to use the software carpentry installer to install a command line text editor called nano. So back in our browser, We'll scroll down past the Git section because that was included in our Git Bash install and now click in the text editor section on the Software Carpentry Windows installer to start the download. It should go pretty quickly and we can go ahead and click on it here at the bottom or we can again go to our downloads through the Explorer window and open it this way. Once it's open, we can go ahead and click Next until the installer starts. Should go pretty quickly, and then go ahead and click Finish. This black box will jump up and go through some commands, and it should close on its own when it's finished. So now let's go check that that worked. We can go back to our Git Bash window here. But let's go ahead and close it and open it again, just to make sure it has the latest changes. So go back to the Windows, and then All Apps, scroll down to the Git section, expand it, and then click Git Bash. So here we'll type nano and press Enter. It opened this blank page for us to type in text here. It also gives us some hints at the bottom about commands that you can, we can use in it. And that little caret arrow indicates control. So we can go ahead and press control X and that will close it. And it doesn't ask us anything about saving it because we didn't type anything. So we'll press control X and it will exit. So this is the end of the tutorial. If you had any errors or problems, please contact your workshop organizer or plan to come early the first day to get help. Check out our other install videos for R and Python if needed. And thanks for watching.